Hey guys, it's Brian for GumballTech.com, and in this video, I'm going to give you guys a quick demo of the upcoming update to Cydia. Now, I'm doing this on my jailbroken iPad running 4.2.1. I jailbroke it using Red Snow 0.9.6 B4. This is a tethered jailbreak, so whenever I reboot my iPad, I'll have to rerun Red Snow and re jailbreak it again. So, I'm going to go ahead and open on Cydia. You can see that it opens in landscape or whatever orientation you're in. And this is basically the new interface, although you can see that it's sort of screwed up in the middle. So I'm going to try and change it this way, and you can see that it's perfectly displayed. So in landscape mode, there's still a couple bugs to be worked out, but there you go. You can see that I am on an iPad running 4.2.1, running the latest version of Cydia, I suppose. And you could already see that I have six updates. Tapping on the changes is really quick. Here's everything I currently have installed. Here's all of your sections. Here's all of my current sources. And here is the search area. So there aren't a whole lot of differences, but for the iPad, it's really more native than it used to be. So I'm going to go ahead and install these um, seven updates to show you what it looks like. Up comes this little area and you can just tap on confirm to start the process and everything else is pretty much the same as it was before. You see that it's pretty speedy. Reloading data is fast like it should be and things like that. So primarily for the iPad, it's, it gets more of a native feel than it has before. So that was just a quick look at the upcoming Cydia update. Not a whole lot of updates, just some visual changes and the way it works a little bit. It seems a little bit faster and more stable. So yeah, this is going to be the version of Cydia that everybody's going to be using once you all install 4.2.1 on your devices and get it jailbroken. So you can leave any of your comments or questions down below. I'm going to have a full write-up on how to jailbreak your iDevice on 4.2.1 over on GumballTech.com. So you can leave any of your comments, questions, or suggestions down below. And that's about it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.